Daniel Kim, an automotive designer and tech entrepreneur, wants to change the way we get around. Motorcycles haven't changed for the last uh, 50, 60 years. Same thing with scooters. So we're trying to reinvent the architecture. This is the result, a purely electric vehicle he calls the C1. So this fills a niche right in between uh, motorcycles and also cars. It's a fully enclosed motorcycle, so you can sit it with your suit, uh, drive to work through rain or shine. So for the car geeks out there, give me the stats. Zero to 60 in how many seconds? Around six to eight seconds. Uh, we're also looking at 150 miles per charge. But what makes the vehicle unique isn't its speed, but the balancing system. Motorcycles are prone to tip over from driver error, but the C1 has patented technology that gives it better stability. You've said that a lot of people ask, where's the third wheel when they first see the C1? Yeah. So explain to us how this vehicle balances. We call it magic or uh, gyroscopic stability. Uh, we use flywheels um, that process on an actuated um, gimbal and uh, that basically creates stability. It's like spinning a top. And, but we have a very large top that uh, puts out around uh, 1,300 foot-pounds of torque. Kim plans to sell the vehicle for $16,000 and is targeting a 2013 launch. His design and engineering team also have other vehicles in development. A common gripe of scooter owners is the lack of cargo space. This prototype solves that problem with a dedicated place to stash your bags. This is a cargo scooter for uh, developing countries um, where two wheels are a necessity. It's basically the pickup truck of uh, lightweight motorcycles and scooters. I like that. So a pickup truck, how much cargo could it actually hold? Yeah, this could take a 22 by 22 inch box, around 600 pounds. 600 pounds? With the rider, of course, yeah. Okay. And then there's his idea for a fold-up scooter. How did you come up with a design for this? I thought, you know, a way we could develop a patent is actually making it fold, and I realized, that, oh, we can increase the value proposition of the uh, previous cargo scooter and create kind of a luxury, kind of high-end Ferrari scooter. Yeah, sure, absolutely. When you ask him why he decided to enter such a highly competitive market as transportation, he comes back to the C1 and a focus on safety with its balancing technology. There's no company in history that's actually brought safety to motorcycles. We're just, it's, hot. It's, hot. it's very uncommon to put motorcycle and safety in the same sentence. Basically, it enables uh, a whole new world of possibilities. For Smart Planet, I'm Sumi Das.